a hearty welcome to today's chemistry session. Today in this session, we will have a new chapter, Coordination Compounds. So in this session, we will give, I will give a common introduction regarding the coordination compounds. So, first we will see what is a simple salt, what is a double salt and what is a coordination compound and what is the basic difference between all these three type of compounds. So, we will see what is a simple salt. A simple salt is a chemical compound that contains relative number of cations and anions. So, we will take an example, a very common example that is table salt. You know the chemical name of table salt is sodium chloride and its chemical formula is NaCl. So, if we take a little amount of NaCl and if we allow to dissolve it in water or if we make the aqueous solution of NaCl, what happens? This NaCl will get dissociated into its constituent ions. That is, NaCl will be getting dissociated in water into Na plus ions and Cl minus ions. So, a simple salt, when dissolved in water, it will get completely dissociated into its constituent ions. Now, what is a double salt? Double salt is a combination of two simple salts. So, here I have given you an example that is, Ferrous ammonium sulfate. Its a chemical formula is FeSO4, NH4 twice, SO4, 6H2O. Where 6H2O is water of crystallization as you know. Now this is also known as more salt. This particular compound you will come across in your uh, volumetric analysis in your chemistry lab. So this double salt, since it is the combination of two simple salts, when it is dissolved in water, this also will get dissociated into its constituent ions. It will get completely dissociated into its constituent ions. So you will get when Morse salt is uh, dissolved in water or when ferrous ammonium sulfate is dissolved in water, you will get ferrous ions, Fe2 plus ions, then SO4 2 minus ions, then NH4 plus ions. You know, Fe2 plus is from FeSO4. Then SO4 2 minus ion is from FeSO4 and NH4 twice SO4. Then NH4 plus is from ammonium sulfate. So it is completely dissociated into its constituent ions. So double salts also will be getting completely dissociated into its constituent ions when it is dissolved in water. When coming to coordination compound, a coordination compound is a complex compound, complex in which a metal ion is surrounded by neutral molecules or ions. So here this is the metal ion and this is a this is an, another group of ions. So a coordination compound is a compound in which a metal ion is surrounded by a number of neutral molecules or ions. So this is the example I have taken. Potassium ferrocyanide, therefore FeCl6. So, by looking into this uh, chemical formula, is, uh, it looks uh, somewhat uh, different from other compounds. You see, uh, some part is kept in a square bracket very carefully and uh, one part is outside the square bracket. So, this is a coordination compound. So, you have seen here, simple salt or simple salt when dissociated in water, it gets completely dissociated into its constituent ions. And double salt also when dissolved in water, gets completely dissociated into its constituent ions. Now I see, if we dissolve this coordination compound in water, what happens? Will it get com completely dissociated? So we will take this, uh, as an example, we will take this uh, pota potassium ferrocyanide and we will dissolve it in water. It will dissociate into two different entities. That is 4 K plus ions and Fc Cn6 4 minus ion. And this will not undergo further dissociation. This part will not undergo further dissociation. A complex part will remain without having dissociated. Without being dissociated, one complex part will be remaining in this. 
That means a coordination compound when kept in uh, water or when uh, dissolving in water, it will not undergo complete dissociation. The complex part of the coordination compound remaining intact without getting dissociated. What may be the reason for that? So now you understood the basic difference between a double salt and a coordination compound. A double salt when dissolved in water, it will dissociate into its constituent ions. It will undergo a complete dissociation giving its constituent ions in solution. But a coordination compound, the complex part of the coordination compound will not undergo dissociation when, even if it is dissolved in water. That means it will not undergo a complete dissociation. So what, will, what may be hindering this complex part in, dis, in undergoing dissociation in water? So this coordination compound in this complex part, a kind of a special kind of bond is existing between this metal ion and, and this cyanide ions. For example, if we take, you have heard about the different types of bonds. To explain this, I am taking a covalent bond and a coordinate bond. For example, HCl. As an example of a covalent bond, I am taking hydrogen chloride, HCl. So you know that it is a covalent compound and in this what is the speciality? This bond is formed by shared electrons. Electrons are shared between hydrogen and chlorine. And what is the speciality of that sharing is? Two electrons are shared between them for the formation of a bond. And these two electrons are contributed equally by two these two elements. That means hydrogen will contribute one electron and chlorine also will contribute one electron to form a single covalent bond. Okay. In case of in case of coordinate bond, we are taking the example of ferrocyanide K4FeCl6. Now here both the electrons, two electrons we need here also for the bond formation. But these both the electrons are given or donated by cyanide group only. That means there is a, electrons are not equally shared from both the, both the parties. But one group is donating the electron for the formation of the bond. Here cyanide group is donating electron for the formation of this coordinate bond. Donating electron in between iron and cyanide. So, this type of bond is known as coordinate bond. When these type of bonds are present in this complex, those complexes are very strong. So, it will not undergo dissociation in water. So, such compounds, compounds that are containing such type of coordinate bonds are known as coordination compounds or coordination complexes. Okay. So, there are, uh, this is one example of, if we take the examples of coordination compounds, K4, Fe, Cn6, potassium, ferro, cyanide. This is example of a coordination compound and another example uh, I can write is nickel tetracarbonate. So there are uh, different types of uh, examples you can see in coordination compounds. In nature also you can see different types of coordination compounds. For example, chlorophyll in leaf. Chlorophyll in nature the green pigment in leaves that is chlorophyll containing the chlorophyll is a coordination compound. The metal ion that is containing in it is magnesium. And the hemoglobin is uh, the part of the red blood cell is also a coordination compound. And in the coordination compound as we have said, a coordination compound is a central metal ion surrounded by ions or neutral molecules. So the central metal ion that is present in hemoglobin is iron. It is uh, an FAQ frequently asked question. Uh, so, 
This is the end of the session today. Thank you very much. See you again.